so I am kind of pissed about, you know, the old sound and I should not have uploaded those, but I am really against, you know, redoing stuff, which I have been doing at some point, but I just don't like doing it. <laughs> uh... We're gonna start over though. No, not 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 continue. Not continue. Not continue. Um uh, <clears throat> God damn it. Just gonna <coughs> <coughs> I've been eating, you can tell, because I'm coffee. And I've been drinking. What? Um, main menu. Crit. We are gonna take level selection. Gonna press E. I'm gonna play Liam for first timers though, just so you know. So, uh, in a sec, Act 2 will also be uh, Liam. But I replay with Sophie though, so. Uh... So, we might as well just. Wait, what does it actually say? What did it? What did it actually say? If you start a l level from this menu, your current game process will be... Never mind. Confirm. The scouts. Yep. Well, at least I figured out this, uh, that this was a training area. I doubt you heard it, though. <laughs> If you want to hear this, you can go to my Summer other video. Two days hence. Just saying. I don't see how you can. I just wanna. Let's see. Well, to begin. Ah, yes. Initiation. It was a frozen evening. I love how they have different uh, outfits, clear, though. But for a loosely bound fleet of easterly clouds that wore the light but still of twilight, green. And yeah, but earlier still the day dusted sort of the hollow. different. Uh, the with Liam has, uh, you know, a frosty breeze I would say it's traditional, you know, the cypresses went to meet uh, what and over the shoulders. Uh, Sophie has uh, more of like Liam a jacket, Sophia, by the looks of young, it. Ambitious, yeah, a jacket. Betrothed. And their uh, shirt, whatever you want to say, the isn't, uh, you know, the, a rather storied group the same either. So I like that, uh, you know, they ain't the same looking, you know, they, they do have different, the mountain walls. Uh, the one different, had graduated uh, that week prior, yeah, and the now dress, it was the dress for the young to prove their for instance, once initiated, well, is it, is they shirt? to wed, but uh, initiation night, it's finally happening. Oh, we've planned so long for this, and now that it's here, I'm not sure I'm ready. I feel the same way. I haven't the faintest notion of what comes next. I mean, this kind of, they, they talk as exciting. if, you know, they haven't it's done it yet. <laughs> Alas, sir, but I trust. then one of them takes over, you know, and, uh, oh, I can, <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna guide you, so... They're both nervous, but at the same time, they... Yeah. Don't put my words out on it. But if it... I don't want to say that this act feels like a Liam. It's, it's my turn, sir, and I'm ready. Oh, are you now? Liam, you kept our initiation right a secret, I trust. No spoiling the surprises? No, sir. Not a word. On my honor. Ah. It makes me a proud mouse to see youngsters like yourself continuing with the Scout Corps. In order to become a full member Wait, of the so Living Hold on, Scout Liam just didn't say that he was initiated? 
to prove you've got the metal. I can't wait for you to be a fully fledged scout, Soph. And guess what? I've convinced Coyle to let me oversee your trials myself. Captain Robin argued I'm too biased to give an accurate report on your skills, but I assured him I wouldn't go easy on you. So don't expect any freebies. Now, we'll start by heading to a nearby cave. It's treacherous, but nothing you can't handle. Plus, I'll be there to guide you. You'll do great. I know it. Oh, and before we go, take this. A proper scout's got to have an adventurer's journal. Sorry that I'm eating while I'm doing this, but I kind of like, you know, that, um, I would have been, what was the, uh, ah, I didn't see you last time, or the first time I played, uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, what was it, um, Sophie had already done hers, or if it was the same thing that I just kept everything secret, I'm gonna have to check that <laughs> in my video, but not now. What are you lollygagging around here for, initiate? Uh, one Don't you second, want to be a scout? There's work to be done. There we go. Whoop. Yeah, she has like a jacket, yeah. Uh, I thought you were staying to guide me. I am, I am. But you've got to complete them on your own. Don't worry, I'll be around. Even if you can't see me. All right, Soph. Follow the cave to reach each of your tasks. This feels like a Liam segment. Also, I love how their pants are made to cover their tail because you know, it's apparently very cold. <laughs> Ready for your first trial? All you've got to do is figure out a way to cross this gap. Psst. Your trusty slingshot might help. Great shot, so Knocking the bridge over was the easy part, though. Now, onward to the next trial. Oh, that wasn't so hard. I had no idea why I was so nervous. Or well, why I'm still nervous. The mighty Sophia need not be nervous. The shining knight Liam is right at her side. <laughs> oh, Liam. I love how they don't like just read off the same thing twice in but different uh, voice actor. So uh, it is worth to replay it as uh, you know either Liam or Sophie, depending on who you play it as first. Uh, there we go. Alright. Alright, trial number two. You've got to identify which flag your scent is passing over. But there's no wind in this cave. How am I supposed to... Oh, but there is. Don't you feel the cool draft? As you well know, scent travels on the wind. And wind is almost everywhere, including this is these really caves. Awesome. Pay close attention, and you'll be able to sense the wind's motion all around you. It's almost as if you can see it. Watch the direction the wind is carrying your scent, and you'll never be caught unaware by your enemies. But ignore it, and anybody might come tracking you. I would like if it was different for different times you play, but... That's the one! Perfect pick! When you're out in the wilds, don't forget to pay attention to where your scent is being carried. Making sure your scent doesn't drift into the nose of a foe could be the... I think I might have been a bit too quiet on the... There are perhaps 90... Hold on. The difference between life or death. But yeah, uh, Sophie, if you remember, she uh, she comments on uh, Liam's skill with the uh, slingshot. Is it just me or is Sophie fatter around the... Hmm. Oh well, I'm not 
go split me. There we go. Still surprised about that. This one, yeah. For your next task, you'll need to determine which of the doors have a rat hidden behind them. A fake rat, that is, and avoid them. Only one of the doors is free of any imposter. That's the one you've got to choose. Find the rat, huh? Should be easy. Just got to use my nose. Um, oh, come on. Why aren't you working? Okay, so now it works. I guess I have to uh, restart the game. For your next task, you'll need to determine which of the doors have a rat hidden behind them. A fake rat, that is, and avoid them. Only one of the doors is free of any imposter. That's the one you've got to choose. Find the rat, huh? Should be easy. Just got to use my nose. Hold on. Liam. You might run and rethink what you said there. A fake rat, and there's an imp where there ain't an imposter. Are you meaning that there's a live rat somewhere? Or what you're implying? Anyway, yeah, it's that door. Aha! Uh -huh. No rat behind here. Excellent job, Soph! You won't be a rat snack tonight. Onward to trial number four. Oh, was that it in the first episode? Uh, but I probably wasn't here, heard then. Uh, what happens if you actually like fall down? You on like that. That wasn't intentional though. That was mistake. I did not mean that. There we go. Yeah, do they just write you off as you know failed? <laughs> Cause of failure death. Here we'll be using our sniffer once again. The first things first, take a good deep whiff of those peppers there. Focus on the aroma of spice. A bit pungent, slightly earthy. It's a good idea to log the scents you encounter in your scout journal for reference. Never know when you may need to sniff out the difference between a fishnet and a fellow mouse. Excellent! Hold that scent in your mind. Remember, it's written in your journal if you need a refresher. Now, we know sniffing can help us see the unseen, but it can also help us identify different scents in the air. So, pick out the candle that smells like chili peppers. Uh, yeah, this is what you have to do. You have to go in here and find the scents. Uh, chili pepper. And you see it's... I still don't know what plus two means, but uh, you know, probably means that it's two. But uh, yeah, we're looking for a lot of green. And if you remember from the first one, it was that one. Oh, you've done it again, Soph. I don't know why we're even bothering with these trials, since you're so clearly an expert already. Well, I do have a good instructor. You'll need to once again shimmy along the wall to reach the final trial. But be careful. This one's got a twist. Oh, come on. There we go. Um, you know, I think I can actually jump up on that. Or maybe not. I'm stuck. Okay, maybe not. Um, let's use the box. Let's use the box. Oh, 
But I'm pretty sure you can jump up, jump up on it if you really try hard enough. Choose wisely? What does that mean, Liam? Your final trial is a trial of stealth. You've got to use everything you've learned so far. Don't let the rats inside see or smell you. Luckily, us mice are quite small and vermin quite dull, so you should be able to sneak through without any trouble. So, don't get caught by the rats and then I'll finally be a scout? That's right, Soph. You'll be an official protector of Lilygrove. Oh, let's see how it was you did this. I wonder why you are always foxes and uh, rats and uh, you know other things. Uh, do do rats even eat mice? Maybe they do. I don't know. Uh, uh, let you pass through. Wait, hold on. Which one? There. There, and you're gonna turn around. Perfect. And there we are. What's all this? <laughs> Congratulations, Sophia! Our newest member of the Lily Grove Scout Corps! I passed? And with flying colors. Excellent work, Initiate! <laughs> Excellent work! I'm quite certain I couldn't have done any better myself. If I were carrying a sack full of dibbons. <laughs> Congratulations, Initiate. I must confess that I was of the mind that you weren't quite ready. It was Captain Robin who pushed for your somewhat expedited initiation. It would appear he saw something in you that I failed to. Until this evening, that is. Ever since you were a dibbon, Sophia, I thought you'd make an excellent scout. And you've never proven me wrong. Thank you, sir. T truly, it's an honor. Having completed your training, the official badge and equipment of office are yours to bear. A way glass, a rucksack, and, of course, the blooming lily on your jacket. It brings me great joy and a fair bit of pride to welcome you to the ancient family of the Lily Grove Scout Corps. There's just one more thing you have to do before you can really call yourself a scout. Come with me, my lady. Finally, you'll get to see Hilltop Camp and meet Rootsworth, our scout chef. He'll help you with the soup. Soup? What soup? The scouts are founded on principles of service and fellowship. As such, we crown each new initiate with cooking the scouts' supper their first night here. I've never been the chef, my sisters are, but I will give it everything I've got. Having completed the various tests and tasks, I think there is, um, Sophia um, found of... herself energized instead of weary. Yet despite a still and restful heart, a frigid wind slowly began to pick up from the south, and the crickets stopped their song. Unknown to any in Lilligrove, <clears throat> a black masted ship made landfall in secret, and the shadow of a long and iron-barbed tail crept up upon the unsuspecting village. I think there is... Welcome to Hilltop Camp, home of the Lily Grove Scout. Uh, wow. Thank you, Liam. It's even more amazing than you described it. Why don't you pull out your way glass, and I'll give you the royal tour. One second, Liam. Uh, I think there is uh, sort of a dress code or whatever, because you saw that uh, all the guys had the exact same dress clothing pretty much and uh, <clears throat> the different with the Tulsa and uh, she was the one with the headband and uh, Soph Sophie is that they they are pretty much dressed the same except that Sophie has a short jacket while uh, you know Tulsa has a coat uh, I think I want to start from left to right. That's the main tent. It's sort of like our very own Great Hall. We use it mostly for hosting guests from neighboring scout groups. We even have badger chairs for when the Coal Stripe brothers visit from out west. 
Down there is our mighty talented chef, Rootsworth. Honestly, I have no idea why he chooses to cook for us humble scouts when he could be running the kitchens at Redwall. But I'm certainly not complaining. You'll be checking in with him after you've collected everything for tonight's soup. Alright. Isn't that waterfall beautiful? You wouldn't guess when it's frozen over, but just up at its source is a hot spring. I can't wait to take you there one day. It does wonders on sore muscles after a fierce day of training. And then we have... Toss ice down there, by the way. Those tents are where the captains sleep. Since they're in charge of keeping the night fires and beacons roaring, they've pitched their stakes by the firewood store. <laughs> Coyle snores like a chorus of toads, though. <laughs> I don't know how Robin even gets a wink of sleep. You get used to it. Those are the scouts' overnight tents. We don't need them often, but it's a nice little getaway for long training weekends. Can I get up here somehow? Probably. That there is the lakeside watchtower. Gives you a great view of camp, but not much else. The actual night watch I've mentioned is at the lookout, but that's uh, closed for construction tonight. Uh, yeah. So, uh, no peeking. Well, that's most of Hilltop Camp for you. Oh, and if you ever come upon an odd pile of flat stones, just take a gander through your way glass. There may be something interesting to see you wouldn't have otherwise noticed. Now then, you've got a soup to cook, don't you? Here, Rootsworth gave me this recipe for you to follow. First, you'll need to collect three beets from the garden. No radishes. Rootsworth was rather insistent on that part. Your sniffer can tell you the difference. Second, you'll need a cob of corn, a potato, and an onion. All which you'll find over at the obstacle course. And lastly, cheese. Apparently, Rootsworth ran out of his stock of cheese, but Fraby's got some extra by his tent. <laughs> That's quite the odd assortment. Do the scouts not keep a pantry? Part of initiation night is making the newest scout run around on a wild goose chase. Don't worry, it's all in good fun. Now, you'd better get searching. Aren't you coming with? Uh, uh, actually, I've got a, uh, errand I need to run. So you'll have to finish preparing the soup on your own. If there's anything you want to talk about before I go, be sure to ask me now. I think that differs from Sophie and Liam, but... I have a very bad short-term memory, apparently, right now, so, uh... So, Liam, before you go... Yes, Soph? What's on your mind? It's like a sack of flour has been lifted off my shoulders now that I finally passed initiation. Were you as nervous for your trials as I was with mine? My paws couldn't stop shaking. Didn't Fraby tell you? My entire tail was stuck frozen in terror my whole initiation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't quit with the jokes for a week. You've been initiated for a whole week. All right. I'm so excited for our celebration tonight, Liam. I just... I only wish my father could join us. Even though he isn't here, I know he's proud of you, Sophia. Yes. If only my mother and sisters were as well. I know it's hard feeling like... Well, knowing your family isn't so supportive of the path you've taken in life... I just wish they could see I'm not cut out to harvest crops all my life. If it means anything, I'm really proud of you. And I think you're wonderful and full of bravery and compassion. Your mum and sisters will see someday that being a scout is exactly who you're supposed to be. <clears throat> I think I talk with... I'm so excited. Even though he isn't here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay I do I that. Short-term me. memory, everyone. Just three days until the wedding. And right after the initiation, and oh, everything is going to change. Yes, but it's a good change. See, Sophia, I've been dreaming about making you my wife since the day we danced at the name day festival. 
I'll never forget the way the roses smelled tucked behind your ear. And Liam says that part, even if you play as him. Uh, future. Now that we're both scouts <clears throat> and getting married, what's next? I was thinking about us going to visit my ancestral home in Southwood, Castle Flore. I have such tiny figments of memory of the place, but I couldn't have been older than an infant. I want to see it now, and I want to see it with you. Okay, so we'll go visit Flore. Then what? Oh, maybe we could go to the western coast. I've always wanted to smell the sea. We can go anywhere and everywhere. Future, I've done that. Have a good night, my love. And let me just guess. Okay, I already picked that up, so. Uh... And I already picked this up too. It's gonna go all the way down. This is gonna burn her hands. Damn sure about it. Gonna pick up a lot of mail here if you want. Um, my favorite one being. One thing I wish though, is that they add it in the way that you pick them up. Not like, over oh, here's one, here's one, there's one, you know. Just, ugh. Absolutely horrible. Um. <clears throat> uh, where was it? There, this one, this one is my favorite. <laughs> like, no, no. <laughs> Uh <laughs> love it. <laughs> uh. I can't speak with these, I should speak with you. Ah, here's our initiate now. Glad you finally made it. Finally indeed. The moon's full up and we haven't even started the soup. Your job is to get tonight's supper started, and we'll be making soup. Exactly what kind of soup is up to you, but let old Roots with give ye a few pointers. Everybody has their loves and everybody has their hates. Taint no way, no how to make everybody happy. But a smart chef can usually keep everybody fed. Go do your scrounging and come back here to see how to turn cold water into a hearty broth that'll make a badger lord weep. I trust your betrothed left you the list of ingredients. Well, go on then. They won't gather themselves. Aye, aye, Captain. Alright, so... I forgot to check this the last time I played. Or, first time I played. Uh, let's grab that. Grab three of those. Yeah, I ran around and just... Uh, I take a bit of everything. Uh, what was it they were? How did they smell again? Um, where are beets? Beets. A little dark green with a little light lime. I believe. Okay, yes, yeah, smells like beets. Juicy red beet, fresh from. Fresh from the garden. This is a carrot, I think. Hmm. hmm. Let's take a carrot. This is a carrot. This is the beat. A juicy red beet. Uh, here, please. A juicy red beet. That's all I needed. It's off in the garden. I think I can take a potato as well. Oh, fuck off. Okay. 
Um, that sucks. We can run around talking to everyone, but you know, I just want to get it over with right now. Sorry. Uh, yeah, the, the first time I did this, this was the 07. I didn't really get. Uh, now I forgot the 128. And then it's up, 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 and boom. God damn it. Why won't you? so hard now then what's left we're gonna head over here anyway but hold on does Sophie have a different way of rolling on the ground that one second okay they have the same way I, I thought she used uh, both hands first time she did it that where we were? No, it wasn't. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, well, I already picked that, so... Um remember where that outpost was now. Should be here. Oh, okay, there. Hmm. And there is something you see over here. I mean, if you do like this, you see something down... Ah, that's the church! It's the church, ah yes. Guess you're meant to see something. Uh, I'm stuck on something. I guess you're meant to see more. Mouse is stuck in the timer. Sorry, I can't do anything about the timer. I really hate it. Uh, let's take a shortcut. Oh. oh, this is so annoying. Oh, what's that? Oh, hello. I saw that. the sheath, I got the... Oh, corn, onion and potatoes, alright. Just gonna get the jam over here real fast. How on earth do I... Oh god, no, oh no. Are you sure that's what happened? Shit. Oh no, I'm all the way back here. <laughs> so how do I get 
Ah, the rocks, the rocks. I see that now. make it hard when you can make it easy or the other way around I don't know thank you looks like there's a little something extra in here <gasps> oh a silver scouts jacket hmm? And there is actually an achievement of finding this one. It's a really good drawing, I gotta say. Oh, I say it again. What was it up here that... I don't think there was anything up here, actually. We're gonna... Take a furrow. Oh, hello. Let's talk a little to her then. Or a little Have to everyone. Have you got any work to do? No. You got cooking duty tonight. What's the plan? Soup? Twist my whiskers! For my initiation, I had to make stuffed toadstools. Do you see now what I feel put upon? <laughs> if you are making soup, I have a request. I do ever so long for the taste of fish. Roasted tomatoes, grilled squash, cold meadow cream. I mean, they're all wondrous to be sure, but I long for something more hearty, something that, that carries all those other things, like a mum carries a wee dibbon. I see. What, was that too much? No, 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 not at all. I've just never heard someone compare their food to a baby. That's all. <sighs> when you put it that way, it was too much. Our little secret. Ah. <laughs> uh. As you can see, they kind of share the outfit, sort of. So, uh, yeah, I think there is sort of a dress code. Just that they have different jackets. Yeah, there they are. It's funny, the, the biggest guy and the smallest dude, you know? <laughs> Hello, Fafia. And might I add, you smell rather nice this evening. Is that honeysuckle? Forgive me if that was a bit personal. My nose is rather sensitive. I don't remember seeing him having something blue on his... There. If no, you're making so. soup, I hope you had a little rosemary. For me, I just love rosemary. If I can find it. Didn't do that last time. Lest I not distract you. Busy night and all. I don't remember him having blue. I see what you're looking at. And since it's a special night for you, I'll forgive the offence. Pardon me? No, you don't. You don't get to play dumb. But it is all right. This once. I've been shot my whole life. I don't quite accustomed to the secret looks, the hidden snickers. Oh, I've endured them all. But I won't accept that kind of treatment from another scout. Hmm. We respect one another round here. It's part of the scout code, so I expect you to abide. Now, take your pouty glare and make another approach. Ah, so you don't get to uh, talk about the, uh, you know, he's talking too much or Laban something. Laban likes rosemary and just about anything. Even just a nibble on a stem when he's walking about. Uh, come to think of it, 
There used to be a healthy bush of the stuff near the hot spring. But you can't stand cabbage. Don't even think about that fermented stuff. The big mouse will practically run screaming at even a whiff of it. And you? The soup is fine. I always like something warm on a cold night like tonight. But what I really love is a nice bloomy cheese. What I love would be a night like this. You know, snow. I haven't had snow in Sweden in... A proper snow. A proper winter in f at least three years. Probably even five if I really want to stretch it out. Hell, this year I'm pretty damn sure... We'll no, this year we haven't had a single snowdrop. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, Enough of you just leave them, they're like, oh shit. Um, yeah, uh, you remember perhaps when I jumped with <laughs> Liam. Um, yeah, not, not great. But you won't die at least, that's great. Is there anything else here? We are there. No. Hot springs. If I can find it, I will pick it up. Still amazed that I can, you know, reach. Holy shit. Okay, so corn, we won't miss this the second corn time. Corn on the cob! Ready for souping! Was it okay? I need to land here in order to I be back. This actually wasn't anything down there. Uh, garlic, I think that was. There's something over there that we need to go. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's down the. Uh, easy there. These are some big onions. Oh, perfect for soup. That's a big box. Holy shit. I believe it was smaller when Lehman was at it, but you know. There we go, fresh potatoes. Looks like that's all I needed for. Mm hmm. Yep, I've got everything. I better go check in with Rootsworth. I'm positively famished. Let's just see if we can find the damn rosemary for once. Oh shit. But yeah, if he loves rosemary on everything, it's kind of like people that have ketchup to everything except pancakes. People who they have pan have uh, ketchup on pancakes are not even allowed inside the house. So uh, there. Let this go. Okay, that's enough. Okay. All right. I mean, it doesn't give off any scents, scent either. That's the annoying stuff. If I go in here, I'm pretty sure I will die, but... Okay, yeah! 
I'm, Are I'm... you sure that's what happened? Oh no. Oh god. Um. So I will freeze to death if I stay in the water too long. Well, that's obvious. Genius. Used to. I don't think you're gonna get rosemary this time either. So you know. Can I still not pick anything up here? No. But potato and meat in a stew. Mm. Wonderful. Maybe some uh, carrots as well. Yeah, some carrots as well. And you know, thick, thick sauce. Absolutely wonderful. So people are bathing in here by the looks of it. Uh, got stuck there for a second. Fucking rosemary is nowhere to be found. A lot of me spelling though. Well, saying bye, does that mean inside or does it mean, you know, bye, you know, by the entrance or, or did lava need it all? Might actually need, you know, outside. Why is there a... Over there. Not be the best soup. It took a bit to track down each ingredient, but here they are. My, my. Then you've already finished your gathering. And here I thought you were dawdling about. Our young scout had picked each ingredient to perfection, despite the tomfoolery of their friends, and dished out soup Rootsworth himself would be proud to call his own. Is that your soup? You can still mix it up a bit more right now, but once the lid goes on top, you'll be done, and live or die with the consequences. Yes, I think that's it. What do you think? I think any meal is better than an empty stomach, and that no mouse is a master overnight. You gave it your best, and that... Ah, oh, would you smell that? Simply scrumptious. Oh, you must be finished with your errands for this evening. Feel free to explore and socialize to your heart's content when you're quite ready. Ring the dinner bell, and we'll begin the festivities. As the broth began to simmer and steam, the escaping sense told everyone in camp exactly the choices she'd made, with or without their say, and the thought made her feel both vulnerable and powerful at the same time. We're just gonna ring it. With all the fanfare roots worth could muster, a wondrous feast of quince pie, port basted mushrooms, and a chutney of wild carrots and beets were served alongside the soup. Piles of barley toast and a stout red cheese. Oh, warmed hay cordial and chilled mint tea with all their tongues and lifted their spirits. Last but not least was a lofty steamed pudding soaked in pear brandy and set aflame for quite dramatic effect. This was Mr. Coyle's fiery ring of devastation, a fitting, if dramatic, name. 
Truly, it was a mighty feast, and Sophia was congratulated many times on her fine stool. But her eye would always wander to Liam's empty chair. My friends and fellow scouts, tonight we celebrate a new member of our brotherhood. Sisterhood! Yes, well, our family all the same. We've all admired your hard work, loyalty, and steadfast spirit. Well done. You entered this camp a nameless initiate. But now, after demonstrating your skill, we give you a new name, known only to yourself and your fellow scouts. Three, Three cheers, cheers for Sophia Rhyme! Three, Three cheers, cheers for Overwatch! Overwatch. Huzzah! 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 Stand now, scouts, and be sober in heart and in mind. Be without fear, malice, or cruelty. Be true to your word, your heart, and your fellow scouts. Be without guile, and speak the truth at all times, kindly if possible, directly in need. Love Lilligrim, the land, and safeguard any who sojourn in her borders. This is your oath. And we, your witnesses, share it with you. As Captain Robin administered the oath, he saw how sorely troubled she was at Liam's absence. A wise mouse and fatherly, he brought her to the cliff and bid her spy the sexton's field. <coughs> Through the magnifying lens, she saw her beloved finishing preparations for an even larger party that only waited for her to another give uh, a different uh, you know but alas, Liam was eagle the party eye. was never to happen not that night <clears throat> not ever seen through the glass a menacing shape stepped out of the shadows it was a ragged and filthy rat dressed in strange garb and wielding a wicked cutlass. Every beast ran as another rat stepped into the firelight, and then another. Suddenly, Liam was lunging forward with a fiery brand, catching the villain full on the snout and knocking it to the ground. Sophia was frozen with fear when Robin grabbed her by the shoulders and spoke most urgently. I wish we had more time. But what you do this very moment is what makes you a scout. You have everything you need for this mission. Skills, tools, training. But most of all, you have courage. I bid you make haste to our village. Go to the lighthouse and fire the beacon. Be swift but silent as you must not alert the raiders to our plan. Lend aid where you can, but you must not be captured. I will ready the militia and join you shortly. Every moment counts. Go now, swiftly! Rather much, isn't it? They're just rats. Those bandits have tried to get in here dozens of times. William, there you are quite wrong. Red Wall has been captured before. Even the great fortress of Salamanderstron has been captured by vermin. We should never underestimate the villains who seek our enslavement. It surely leads to defeat. But more importantly, Lily Grove is no fortress. It's a small village with no wall and few warriors. And these were not scattered brigands, but vicious sea rats pirating under the banner of Clooney the Scourge. I said it once, probably wasn't heard. But I don't remember Clooney being a pirate. But then again, I haven't read the books. I only seen uh, what is it, Martin the Warrior. Uh, then they are on Heart YouTube. Pounding, the newest scout raced toward the besieged town on a mission to light the beacon of the decrepit old lighthouse that hadn't burned Red in wall. ages. Every moment mattered. Hey, but remaining undiscovered mattered even more. The, uh, the, uh, the, you can find them on YouTube, they very well done, or, well done, or they, like TVs, I don't know what the hell they are, uh, what is that, church bells, come on, you're just imagining it, no, for reals, ah, all this shrubbery makes me nervous, I can't see, 
You hear that? Sounds like twinkle bells. Twi twinkle bells? That's a huge fish. <laughs> Uh, he's walking back and forth, yes. There you so get him away from there. Right here it's comes down side. All the way until the bus arrives. Wonder when he's coming. Oh shit, I'm like a scene. Yep. I figured. You know, I'm not good at Desperados either, so, uh, you know. Okay, I get. That game is pretty much, uh, you know, trial and error, you know, like. Oh, you could see and just, res just uh, reload and do it again, but. It feels great when you don't restart. Ten times. He has to get past two enemies. You're gonna get smelled here. Nothing we can do about it. Watch out for mousers. Yeah, he's gonna smell us no matter what. Quite sure. how I got seen there, but... Might have been that one actually. Yeah, she's walking back and forth there. Let's go, let's go. I'm actually making good on time, maybe because I don't list talk to everyone about everything. Uh, and I know what to do, really. Here I had a little bit of a problem though, because I... Is 
sour melon and while he was still alive. Uh, you know, Jelly was it, that is. Don't cross scums now, either. That's when you want him to get you with that poisonous, vile-filled bite. <laughs> Wait, something smells fishy, and I don't mean those fish. Uh, I guess the fish just yeah. Here I Good thought idea. coming inland would get us away from the constant reek of the sea. They don't s um, come on, all rats doesn't sound like evil. They sound like, yeah, yeah, you know, come on. Come on, Billy, let's have a drink. <laughs> or something like that. Uh, let's see. We can ignore those males. We already got them. How do I get in there, though? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I can do this. What are those rats plotting? I can't quite hear them from here. Thing Martin, the rats seem to have left Friar Thomas's house unharmed. For now. Huh? The whole Rymade lineage is buried there. So many. And my father. As the cemetery gate creeped open, our fresh scout found themselves with a curious dilemma. Was it worth taking the time to somehow save the good friar's home? Or was it more prudent to slip unnoticed towards Lilligrove and onward to the lighthouse? I once heard you say, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few or the one. Is that what you're getting at? Yeah, you know, in, in our time, I would argue that it's uh, the opposite, you know. If those people want something, then... You know, if Timmy and John want something, because, you know, they are special. In that kind of way of special. They were all here, planning a party for me. I hope every one of the Lily Grove has made it out all right. Oh, those rats better not have destroyed the church. Just days before our wedding. Oh, those rats better... Oops, sorry. There we are. And I still can't... Oh, I missed this first time. Can't get in here. Open nothing in there, though. Oh, wait. Ah, darn it. Gosh darn it. Oh, well. Wh why? Now that I actually see what it is, why would you... <laughs> setting fire to fire, would I? What? What? What's this? Well, we find that out sooner or later. Only has two poles, you know. Whoever's in that bell, you did. The minute you let your laziness get the best of you. Now, let's get moving. Hoping that it's dangerous. Wonder why these mouses keep their logs up in the tree. 
Must be risky climbing up and down that ladder of laws. I was hoping ringing the bell would actually get all three of them. a grave here that I want to visit real fast. I can't remember where. No, not here. So I'm on my father's grave still smells of him. And there we go. Boop. Uh, I can see why Leon would Plan, plan to host a party here. My, what was it? Skip. All right. You would have gotten that uh, achievement if you played as Sophie on your first, as well. And in here is another thing. The creator of the, yeah, whose last name I still can't pronounce. Yaquest, something, something like that. And of course, I ran around like a fucking idiot, just wondering where the hell the he, this guy, was. <clears throat> Frau Thomas, are you all right? Dear me, I'm not sure. Quite shaken, to be sure, but alive. Unless we both got onto the dark forest unawares. Yes, yes. I'm still here at Sexton's Hill, though. I haven't seen you in several moons. I understand you've been rather busy with preparing and training. Am I correct? I'm quite happy to be sure. I hope you know that, just as I've always been right here with an open door and a warm heart, and perhaps a mug of plum brandy now you're a bit older, you can always count on this place for rest and good counsel. At least as good as I can offer. But, uh, of course, now isn't quite the time, is it? He reminds me of a YouTuber. The, the voice reminds me of a YouTuber. He, which reminds me of, like, gods and yin, kings and generals. He does, like, similar videos. Where did the rats come from? What do those savages want? Sea rats, by the looks of them. Vicious scoundrels scavenging for supplies, most likely. Uh, they're cruel, but aiming more to steal than to kill. Or so I'd gather. Pirates, really. I've seen their kind regularly when I was near the coast. Uh, but these corsairs are far too inland. I can't imagine what brings them here. But it gets worse, I'm afraid. We were attacked by a mere scouting party. Which means there are likely more behind them. Oh, and by the way, now we completely lost that voice uh, that I recognized, so I am... Uh... Yes, yes, remarkable. Saved us all with that quick wit and even quicker firebrand. None of us would have made it otherwise. Come now, let me help you to your feet. Thank you, child. Surveying the broken remains of her graduation party, Sophia was struck by several emotions at once. Anger, sadness, fear, and indignation. They all rose up in her heart together. But the strongest of all was the grim awareness that it was less than an hour ago that she was recklessly longing for adventure, only to find that Captain Robin was right. Living at was quite different than she'd imagined. Once he'd gathered his wits, the sextant told a tale of how he'd been full front for the Corsair's sneak attack, and also for Liam's courageous defense. Seeing her concern, 
the wizened old friar assured her that Liam was quite all right and how he'd drawn the beast away, allowing several villagers to escape in the ancient catacombs beneath Sexton's Hill. Sophia was filled with pride for her brave betrothed Liam, but worried to learn that he insisted on running headlong into town to fend off the raiders. As the two mice peered northward with Sophia's new wake lass, they spied a growing chaos of frightened mice and pillaging pirates, but Liam was nowhere to be seen. Even worse, gathering to the south, they could see a long line of marching rats. Yep, the bulk of the attacking force was less than an hour's march away. With the road blocked and no cover, there was no way Sophia could reach the lighthouse that way and remain undetected. But then the gentle friar revealed a secret passage in the crypts that led to a twisting maze of vaults and halls beneath the village. Perhaps the subterranean path would get Sophia down to the water's edge. Handing her a lantern, the friar's last words hung in her heart like dead weight. Hurry, lass. Liam is down there somewhere, and he's alone. If time was so important, then why'd they take the safe and slow path? I'd have run right into town and shown those brutish vermin what a mouse is made of. Remember, my boy, she had no weapon. And even if she had a sword, she'd never been trained. Those wretched vermin were practiced killers and would likely have split her hide like a gourd given the chance. Stealth was her only option. Interesting to say he said that Liam has no weapon, but, she's, but when it comes to Sophie, she has no weapon. Not that I really bother, I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> Minor detail though. Oops. Remember your training. Most beasts only rarely look up. Hide up high, move low, and slow. Last time I was here, I fell down. <laughs> and I did it again. Ghost. How did I get down here, though? I don't think that really bothers. You know that the fl the flower disappears as we crawl through <coughs> the as we crawl through uh, doors because. You know, once we're done here, we... That's... No <gasps> Because once we're done... Once we're done here, we... Uh... <gasps> well, we don't have to bother with those rats again so uh, it doesn't really matter Let's see if we can light all of these there bathed in silver moonlight the lily grove catacomb stood as a grand if dusty example of the craftsmanship of the moles Long centuries before the spectacular vault was built by the mighty Runebro clan, in celebration and gratitude of all that Lady Grove had become in its heyday, which even then was long, long ago. And though its splendor had faded in the steady flow of time, it was, and still is, one of the most majestic sights in all of Mossflower country. Why do you need all this? Jeez. 
I mean, I understand that I live on the ground, the mice and rats, but you know, still. Oh my, thank the stars, it's so good to see you. Uh, hold now, aren't you one of the Rhymeade girls? What are you doing dressed as a scout? Mrs. Ivy Wayne, I am a scout. I just graduated this evening for your information. Oh dear me, I didn't mean to offend, my dear. I just didn't expect. Uh, well, no matter. You're here now. Whatever are you going to do? Me? Well, I'm, I'm not quite sure. This is all happening so quickly. But I, I'll do my best to uphold my oath. You can count on me. Hmm, I see. Liam had a um, funny approach about that, you know, you're like, oh shit, yeah, I just happened to... Hey, Miss Ivy Wayne, I'll crank you up to your shop cellar using in this. The <laughs> also, this is the easiest, uh, you know, you don't really have to do anything, you just open that. I don't really... Uh, yeah. Easy, easy, very easy. <clears throat> Escapes. Almost, too, it was so easy that even that even I had to, you know, walk halfway through this tunnel in order order to figure out how you did it. My back will snap before night soon, just you see. No man, strong. I mean, this door is closed. So how the bloody hell did he get in here? Conveniently placed. Yeah, I think that's kind of, you know, the thing with this game. Everything is conveniently placed. Now when I, you know, see it. Is he coming back? Yep. We're not going to risk that. It's not like the flower or it like disappears. Which would have been really, you know, scary because then you would really have to worry. Poses, I think. Ah, never mind. Anything else I can do here? No. Keep on going. Here is quite impressive, says I. Substantial handiwork. Hello there. Mr. Cornsilk. I didn't expect to see you down here. Are you quite all right? Very tight. Oh, surprised, are we? And why is that now? Perhaps you mean to say you hope not to find me down here safe and alive instead of stuck on a pike, eh? Well, no, nothing of the sort. I only meant your tavern keg vault is likely the safest hiding place in the whole village. Yes, well, it would have been, except I was in the middle of rotating stock when the brutes arrived. But never mind that now. You're a scout, right? Isn't it your job to take care of such things? Get me out of here. Just a second, son. Yeah, as I said, yeah, I, I, I figured it out here that okay, if Let's I do try this, this, Mr. Corn Silk, a bit cramped, but should get you to the shop cellar just fine. That uh, you know, what's taking so long? That you know, here, so I, 
walked all the way back just to help. Uh, what's her name again? Dora Bell, I think it was. Oh shit! I'm gonna have to read this. Ah, that's for another season, I suppose. Why not? You know, thinking about it, I showed everyone here, you know, in my first playthrough, so um, I think we should show all these guys. I'm just gonna do it like this, and once you finish reading that, you can read that. I can read this on my own when I get some spare time. Dorabell, Dorabella, even. <laughs> okay, I guess changed their name. All right. I get a feeling that uh, Belladora is a bit sweet on Liam, actually. Hmm. And last but not least. it in here I don't think there was anything other than this he hears me jumping on the other side of the wall that's interesting that's Papa all right what's this hmm down here I remember I'm interested because you know of the chest is further forward uh, I can just realize I can how close it must be in this uh, in this giant hole so you know Losing a bit of time with my slowness. Oh, and this was a bitch for me. Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, it was uh, in here. Oh, this was so annoying. You see that bell up there? Well, you have to shoot at this one. If you miss that, well, you know, you're gonna be running around like I did for at least five minutes. And he can stay in there. You can call him back over, but... Uh, mm. Oh, 
Oh, and uh, as far as I know, these question marks never disappears. Oh, hello. Hello there. Oh, my, just look at you. A new Lily Grove Scout. Oh, your gentle mother must be so very proud. Oh, you needn't bother your whiskers about me. I've lived in my sister's shadow my whole life, I have. Hiding in dark corners underground is easier by far. <laughs> Still, now that you're here, I would prefer to be a bit safer. You're very kind, Miss Ivy Wayne. Thank you. Let me see what I can do about getting you someplace safe. With a warm dram of port, I hope. Over here, then. Hop in, and I'll hoist you up to the shop cellar. There we are. I used to think Badgers built this place, given all these statues, but Thomas says it's actually moles. What was this place? A temple? Or maybe a mausoleum? I'll have to ask Pickerel, if he'll even bother answering me. <laughs> yeah, it's surrounded by water too, and you know, all these stuff, you know? Where do these catacombs open up? That would be quite the view. And quite the drop. Whose flag will the chief hoist next? Sergeant Scum's house. The stronger one, to be sure. But that cheese thief is the clever one. Hmm. Whose side should I be on? <coughs> Pick. Bones. Pick. All right. Well, that guy is like caught, or maybe in, you know, fucked. Ooh. I must have been in a hurry when I first played this to not notice this. Bloodwelp is down here, ain't he? Always peeking and poking and trying to get my eyes. Mayhaps I'll get his eye on the end of my dagger. I need a plan, I do. It's always on the moon, and maybe it's not even sure. And then there'll be a meeting Oh, yeah, here. I missed this bell the first time I uh, played. We have walked almost all the way around. Holy shit. So, what you want to do is this. I don't know how to get up there, but uh... <gasps> we don't want to go there right now. Oh, hello. Yeah, I missed this because I followed the footsteps. Have I missed that door? Ah, oh, over there, most likely. Oh well, I'll pick it up at some other point. Or maybe I could have 
Yeah, we walked all the way around just because of that one scaven over there. There we are, we're gonna take the stairs, everyone is here. Despite the urgency of the situation on the surface, Sophia found herself compelled to lend aid to those frightened and desperate beasts. And as the last one ascended to safety, she found her own animus surprisingly calm, her anxiety for Liam greatly diminished, and in its place, a determination and resolve that she had never felt before. Even now, she was embracing the values of Red Wall before ever hearing its charter or passing its gates. Uh, all right. Well, hold on. What? I am just gonna ignore it. Talking to these. Uh, sorry. If you missed the uh, dialogue in my first playthrough. Go As Sophia first. ascended from the ancient catacombs, she emerged at the feet of an enormous creature. A beast of kind she'd never seen before. With a fat, stubby tail, no ears to be seen, and a vile, stinking slobber dripping from his diseased jowls. Several rats circled about him, throwing down their collected loot at his feet, like sacrifice to some heathen shrine. All the while simpering and falling for his approval, and being beat as often as they were congratulated. <laughs> at each interaction, they'd speak his name like a curse. Scum snagged. So this was the leader of their raiding party, and Sophia could see why. He towered over his minions and wielded the gigantic mace as if it were a twig. A flick of his wrist and any nearby rat would crumble or sail into the nearest wall. He was a monster if ever such a word applied, and he knew it full well. So here's where the shift is. Sophia? Is that you? Oh, it is! Liam! What happened? Are you alright? Oh, if I get my paws on that scurvy, disgusting rat that did this to you, I'll... That... that thing... It was no rat, to be sure. I don't know what it is. Towering, it's foul. I nearly took my arm off lest I walloped him in the jowls. Oh, Sophia, you have to get away from here before he sends you. Nothing will keep me from you. Not even a grangy monstrosity. Remember the vows we prepared? Not mountain, nor sea, nor raging storm. I don't need a veil and a ceremony to seal my promise to you, Liam Rivermouse. He's a killer, Sophia. Not a storm. Liam, you look hurt. Tell me what's wrong. No, it's nothing really. Just a bite to me old picnic. <laughs> but I must say, I don't feel quite well. Sort of woozy and grey. Look here. I am a scout now, and I have a job to do. So you just sit tight. I'll be here shortly. Right. Uh... No matter what, I must stay out of sight. No light, and no noise. Oi. As a night I haven't been this hungry since we were. I am gonna ignore the chef for now. Been stranded. I could eat. Excuse for a cannon brute swing pole. Don't be asking but, me. I'll uh, be so you know, you it's in here. And I still have no idea how to open it. No. Um. Oh. Oh yeah, there was a berry there. What's this. What's this? Alright, never mind that. Yeah, 
got too many gold teeth in that empty head to be leaving unfinded. There's something with these, though. I just know it. You hooty, mate. How's your raid? Watching the Sarge whip that wealth and leave in the air was the most fun I've had all Do I smell peppercorns? Peppercorns, Your breath. No, not me, sir. Well, all what I mean is... Scuffs out, Sergeant, sir. You hedge pawn, ah! As I said, there's something with these things. We we went past one, but oh, hello. Red toe, two. Through the way glass could be seen a large looming shadow. It set her fur a bristle to think an owl would sit idly by whilst Verb burned her home. <laughs> Ether Liam, you're gonna Well alert someone. But as she considered her next actions, she scented just a hint of dear Liam. She found him nearby, nearly unconscious, and cast amidst a recent catch of fish. He was alive, but badly wounded, bitten by that filthy scum snout, and left for dead, which he soon would be, if Sophia couldn't get him help. Whispering together, the two hatched a daring, but dangerous plan. I can't let you do this. Oh, it's too dangerous. And I can't let you perish in a pile of soiled fish, Liam Rivermouse. Just do as your dear Sophia tells you for once. And don't you rustle your whiskers one bit. That monster might be big, but he can't possibly be fast. I'll draw him away up the broad walk, and you slip away when it's clear. I'll be just fine, and Captain Robin is on his way. With a wink, she scaled the bell tower and taunted the brigand as best she was able. Oi! You big disgusting gobslobber! I just saw all your mates casting lots on who's gonna get the credit for this failed raid on a bunch of helpless mice. Come and get me! <laughs> The moment the taunt left her lips, she knew it was a mistake. Scumsnout was fast, and now he was singularly focused on her. Oh, shit. 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 how it ends. No. That jump is always annoying. Set. Oh shit! Okay, never mind that. Fuck. Hope you enjoy looking at rat ass. Where am I? There I am. Oh, shit. Damn it! I lost track of where I was. It's like playing. <laughs> I don't know what it's like. You're looking at mouse ass. Hope you like it. Yeah. I 
Ooh. Okay, that that was awesome. Send that. I said it a few times, it would have been easier if it was just, was impossible. you know, running forward instead of running sideways, but you know, at the same time it wouldn't be stressful if, if it wasn't like this. Like a juggernaut. Shit. And that's the boat. Where you going? <laughs> you think a bit of debris is gonna slow me down? Fuck. Quit stalling. I want to know what happened. Anyway. Fuck. Oh, I actually saw them despawn there. <laughs> Who is this gonna alert, by the way? You know, it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. With nary a moment to spare, the lamp was fired. Just as furious scum snout broke through the trap door and lunged up to the platform. Certain of his victory, he sneered and chuckled with a sound like a hungry grave. Patiently, step by murderous step, he closed the distance as Sophia looked desperately for any hint of escape. But as the beast reached out for her throat, the intense beam of the beacon struck Scum Snout full in the face. Blinded by the intense light, he bellowed in rage and began thrashing wildly and in pain. He swung his enormous mace all round, destroying windows and walls, cabinets and crocs all in his terrifying agony. No place was safe. The beacon was lit, Sophia had completed her mission, but as the erratic whereat stumbled about the platform, he slammed into her, sending her over the edge and wheeling her into the cold and empty winter air. So if you know what to do, you can complete this in under for two hours. You can complete it in under two hours. And the thing is, how much I understand this is Act One, Two, Three, and probably Four, Five, Six. But once you realize how quick you can complete it, it kind of feels a little short. I completed it in like four hours the first time I played. Most because, you know, hey, what the hell is this? <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it's still a good game. Still, still really love, like, you know, and I'm gonna play the second game. And I'm gonna shut up now because this music is good. That's the important one. So, um, one last thing. I see you all in the second act. See you all in the second act. I centered his walls as we sipped the ten As the sunlight began fading away He sang me his tale and mourned of his kin Then soon he would be Cast he to the winds and the ways of 
From storming sea, the pirate he fell ere this October last. His cutlass a razor, his armor a shell, his tail a merciless. The dead left behind Our riven clans Our families now dwindled This song of woe is mine Our word of fear The sword and the scourge Cast we to And what? And what's next? The story can't end there. W what happened to Sophia? What happened to Liam? I tell you, it can't end there. Oh, bear your waffles. 
Most certainly it can. Endings are the right and proper place to stop, don't you think? But more importantly, oh, it's quite late. You're quite ill, and I have quite a bit more to do before the sun rises again. Ah, good night, my dear boy. And sleep sound, knowing I'll be back to tell you more of the story.